Hey guys, it's me, it's KC. And well, this video is going to be a little different than a lot of the stuff that I normally do. It, it's going to be a vlog, something I don't really do much of to begin with. I really want to start doing more of these vlogs. But this is just going to be you know, straight shooting, straight to the point. Now, you, you notice that probably in the title that it says health. That's actually my health. And I, I don't want to scare anybody. I, I really don't. In fact, I actually am okay. But... For the longest time, I really was not feeling very good at all. Like even now, I don't feel that good, but at least I know now what the problem actually is. Now what I mean by that is I don't really care too much about New Year's resolutions, but I really, really decided to just cross everything off my list and be like, you know what? I know everybody hates going to the doctor. I know everybody hates doing that sort of stuff. I was just like, I'm just going to suck it up. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna get it over with, and I'm gonna be like, cross my fingers and everything's gonna be good. And, guess what? Everything was good. And I came to the realization, a realization, sorry if I could speak, that that wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I actually thought that something would be wrong. And I don't mean that in a negative way, it's just, you know, when you get that feeling, if you've ever had it, where you feel like something's not right. And something didn't feel right. So that is why I got everything taken care of. I, I check up, uh, blood work, and a bunch of other things that we really don't need to talk about. But I did it. And I'm healthy. Everything is good. My blood pressure is good. Everything falls within the lines of being healthy. So why do I feel this way still? Why do I feel so crappy? Well, for one, I know for a fact that I've got allergies. 365 days a year, no matter what the weather, I feel like crap. But I know that allergies are a very common thing, and I kind of figured I knew it was allergies, but then it got to the point where it felt like it was something else. Now I'm very grateful that it wasn't that, and that I know that it is allergies, but the other thing is I actually decided to get an eye test, because I really did need to get glasses. And I actually did feel that that would be a, a big reason why as well, because I was always squinting like this and trying to make out things, especially when I was recording, you guys probably saw it a lot of the times. And it was really, really a good idea because it turns out I've got you know one eye weaker than the other, like this, you can see it, which is a very common thing. And I have nearsightedness. Now, I didn't really understand this, and I still don't, because I haven't looked it up. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this. But okay, here's the thing. If you're nearsighted, it means you can't see far distances. So why the hell is it reversed? Shouldn't it be, I'm farsighted, meaning I can't see far distances? Why the hell is it it's like switched around? I don't know. I'll have to look it up, and I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. But that just makes a lot more sense to me. But it turns out I have to wear glasses, and I don't really want to wear glasses, but I don't want to wear contacts either. I don't want to jam stuff in my eyes. I felt this was probably going to have to be glasses. So, starting Saturday, February 6th, at least as of this recording, I have glasses. I'm going to wear them. I thought I could see them for a second. I'm like, crap, I gave them away. So these are the glasses I'm going to wear. Now, I don't care what people think. I really don't. But it just it's really weird, because... You know, when I was getting all this stuff sorted out with my glasses and stuff, the people were like, oh, it's such a big, big life-changing thing. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I really don't give a crap. I really don't. I'm like, I just want to see, goddammit. And I want to see, and hopefully this will help with the way I'm feeling as well. And it has helped. A lot, to be perfectly honest. Are you guys ready to see the glasses I'm going to have to wear in these videos moving forward? Kind of nervous about this. These weren't cheap. And if they don't look good, well, I don't really care, but it's on me. You guys ready for this? Uh, what's the best way of doing this? Oh, I know. I'll just... I'll go down on myself. Everybody does, right? Ah! Okay, you ready? Here we go. Hey! How's it going? These are the glasses I picked out, so... I hope you guys like him. Took me a while to pick him out. I don't think they look that bad, to be perfectly honest. I'm not a glasses expert, but they don't look that crazy, I hope. I'm not looking in the side either. I've got my screen in the side here, 
and I'm just I can see myself pointing like this. I'm not gonna lark. I just wanna look at you guys, because you guys are the ones that are important, not my ugly mug in the corner of my eye. I'm not gonna lark. But no, seriously though, I mean this is really gonna help me move forward. Cause I think that was a big reason why I didn't feel that good as well. Cause you know, when you're straining and stuff the whole time with your eyes and stuff, you just you put probably stress on your eyes and your your brain and everything, so We'll see what happens moving forward. I, I've really made a conscious effort now. I'm going to start exercising starting Monday, like a lot. I've taken all these different vitamins and supplements and stuff. I want to start eating healthier and all that sort of stuff. Some of the vitamins I'm taking, you know, because people care so much. You know, they really do. You guys care. Like vitamin C tablets, you know. I mean, I drink juice and stuff, but I mean, vitamin C is good. And I've got some, like, veggie bars and stuff over there behind me and... You know, I'm, I'm just, just, I'm trying to eat healthier, goddammit, is what I'm trying to say. I got myself checked out, which is good. Still have to get to the allergy test, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on, and I'm really trying hard to just, just go for it, man. Go for it. Kind of like my YouTube channel. Just go for it, even though things have really slowed down on that. I'm still having a lot of fun, because that's the point of the whole thing, is just have fun, you know? So I've been doing two videos a day, I'm going to continue to do two videos a day but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to push for a third video once in a while yep three videos a day once in a while we'll see how that goes yeah that's it for me for for now guys and hope you guys enjoyed it now that I've got everything taken care of and that was the big reason why I do things I wanted to do but I couldn't do now I can actually do them and I'm not gonna tell you what those things are although I probably said I'm in a different video before in the past but I'm really gonna try to get some things I've been really wanting to do more have a bit more fun and everything and we will see how it goes we really do but I don't know how long I've been going for seven hours and oh, seven hours seven minutes and uh, 50 seconds as a recording anyway uh, if you guys enjoyed this video really I uh, don't you don't even have to give it a thumbs up I don't even care about that stuff I just want you guys to know how I'm feeling I thank you so much for the support, all the love, all the messages, because it really does up, it, you know, lift me up. It really does. Yeah, cheesy, but it, when you read something that's very heartwarming, you can't help but feel that way. And it's just so comforting to know that you guys are there for me. I know. And I'm just starting to get all weird now because it's like I'm not used to talking about this sort of stuff. But I really do appreciate it a lot. You, I can't even put it into words, as silly as that sounds. This is what you guys mean to me. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. It's been, been awesome. Four awesome times ahead. So, thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.